Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Off Topic, live from RTX Sydney 2018. I'm your host, Michael Jones. Today's episode sponsored by Honey, Casper Mattress, and the Dollar Shave Club. I'll tell you more about them later. Enjoy. Shut up! Shut up! That's fine. We don't care. Hey, what up, Sydney? Can we get a low table at work? Because this is actually Shit, pretty nice. I we saw it. We had one last we podcast. Broke it. You sniffing it out? We like just I destroyed it on the last podcast. It. Yeah, there. we had it, and it was gone before you ever saw it. This That's, feels uh, a little flimsy. Oh, there's what? some. Don't <laughs> smash their table. <laughs> hey, Jeff, Jeff's microphone is broken. I don't know what's wrong. Jeff. There you go. Hello. Hey, there we go. Oh, it works for Jack. Yeah, what was wrong with your mic? Are you good? Well, my microphone doesn't work. Oh, Lindsay. Oh. Damn it. There you go. There, there, we go. Go. <laughs> there it is. Damn. We're lighting up. We're lighting up. Just turn up all of them. Nice slow pan. I'm looking at that. It's so you can Hi, see Jeff. all of our ugly faces. <laughs> <laughs> sort of on frame, Jack Patillo. <laughs> I don't like having a monitor to see us. It's yeah, creepy. Although I guess we do an Austin. Oh, that's a good look. Welcome to Off Topic. <laughs> RTX. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Somewhere <laughs> Peter Hayes is darty. Yeah, hey, what's up, Australia? Yep, 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 yep. Yo! Nuts. I, I'm your host, Michael Jones. Joining us on this episode, we've got Trevor Collins. Hello, how's it going? Jeremy Dooley, hey, oh. Jeff Ramsey, Jack Patillo, Lindsey Jones, oh. and Ryan Haywood. Hey! Did just, hey. <laughs> Lindsey, did you just mouth hello into the mic? Yeah, I'm, I was very we'll quiet. ADR Hello. Later. Straight yeah, well, up, in the last panel, Straight I had up, a beer. Um... <laughs> I picked up. up my beer and I started to talk into that instead of the microphone, so it's only uphill from here. That's good. That's, uh, Jeff, what step the fuck? One of being an Come alcoholic, on. I think. Yes. Ryan, I don't drink. Please. Don't drag me like this. <laughs> well, I was drunk yesterday. Shaking. I'm sober today. Nice. Yeah. Great. I'll get into that. First, I need to finish my cup of coffee. What do you got in there? Is that Jeremy Irish is coffee? Just, it's, All right. There's, there's the Irish coffee and there's Jeremy coffee. No, no, he no, just no. drinks jet fuel. This <laughs> isn't even that. This is just. This is just beer, but I left the oh, green room. Oh, yeah. no, yeah. right in the face. Come on. I'm so okay. sorry for you him. You fucking dick. Oh, he was God. aiming for the Funhouse fan, to be for fair. I'm sorry. Oh, Jeff what just Randy. happened? Jones, Jeff Randy's bleeding. You that was a good shot. Eye out. Oh, Did you hit God. someone in the face? What yeah, can we give her? Right Ma'am, I am so sorry. What, let's happy give her about something. It. Do you want a book? Do you want a jacket? Who are you? Yeah, give her a jacket. How about some sunglasses? Do you want some sunglasses? We're not making it out of Australia I'm sorry about your face. Jeff hit someone in the crowd with a bot with a bottle. And the you know, it's like a Gallagher her. concert. You know what you're getting into. That's yeah. not true. There's yeah. no mosh yeah, At a Gallagher pit. concert, you get tarp. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, and you know if you're in the splash zone. zone. There's yeah. a difference between you the splash zone the front, and the main the zone. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Please file your lawsuit uh, directly at Jeff Ramsey. I'm not sure that's who did with it, a but G? It, it could have come from me or Jeremy. Good we don't know. Lord. We just don't know. so polite about it. We might have a handful of witnesses. I don't know. Thanks for the bag, girl next to her. Appreciate it. Right. 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 That was somebody. my wife! <laughs> Careful now! I was just throwing it away from Jeff. That wasn't me trying to throw it to the audience. All right, fair enough. Oh, right. That was my this, cap. You're we're, gonna we're, we're losing yeah. focus on this here already. Right. I'm Bring sorry. Back to the focus, I'm sorry. Michael. I, I gotta this get a beer. Is, this is episode whatever the hell this it is. This one, I don't you? know. Like 115, 115, 115, something like that. It's fine. It's just uh, a good capacity. This is, uh, this is it, man. We're wrapping up RTX Sydney here. Hey, Jeff. With this piece of shit. Watch this your is what you're wasting your time why with. Did, why would anyone want their drink I don't drink know why I didn't learn. So, oh. Stop doing Stop it! Stop hitting I people, can't. Jeff. I can can't. someone can someone explain to me why you would want your beer to be super dry? Here, try some super dry. I love dry. it because dry. then it catches America, you off you guard when it isn't. This. Baby, I'm gonna make it so dry for you. <laughs> like sandpaper in a bottle. Like, no, I don't raspy. want that. I'm I don't gonna, like that. Slap it. So slap raspy. <laughs> Get my Wait, teeth I, I'll be ready. honest. I'm use my teeth. I'll be honest. I got nothing. Uh-oh. They put me on the RT podcast, and I told all my best stories, like how Trevor wanted to sleep on the plane like this. Yeah, demonstrate. No, uh, close. Wait, what? Let me show you. Well, more, no. See, I sleep on my stomach, and when you're on the plane, you How do you back. sleep on your stomach on a plane? So, well, here, well, he doesn't. In, like in a bed, he sleeps on his stomach. That's how you get air in and your ass, you Trevor. Uh-huh. 
You, yeah, you are one step away from sucking in air to your, in your asshole, Gavin style. Yes. With that, that that's, this is so the position wh- Gavin takes when he sucks in Holy air shit, in his I asshole. Holy sneak in. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think air Wait, is just never, the name of a dude like a they found on Tinder, honestly. Is that what it is? Yes. So you do sleep like that? Or no, you I absolutely wait? don't sleep like that. You, that's not Jeremy, totally you, you, possible. You idiot. <laughs> well, so much came out on that Jeremy, one. Jeremy, I'm losing it. That was okay. a waterfall well, at least of it idiot. was that way. It was. No, I, wa- I, I usually, could watch it go in the... I, there was a rainbow. I didn't oh, hit yeah, anyone yeah. in the yeah. front row right. with it. I'm Use missed. your saliva yeah, to salve the wounds caused yeah, by Jeff. Yeah, shit. Good Lord. It's, uh... It's hot. It's a little it's, warm. It's not, it's not I'm all right. Nearly, it's not that bad, though. Last year was really hot. I didn't say it was hot. horrible. Kill me. Okay, and also, all, like, everyone from Australia is like, it's really cold outside yeah. right now, isn't it? And I'm yeah, like, no. you can shut the fuck you up. You are. It's great it it out right now. It is amazing. And then everyone came in and was like, it's raining. And I'm like, we're locked in here. We don't I'm know. I'm from the south, and I'm dying, man. So yeah. hot. It's a dry This is way more heat. south yeah. than where you're under from. Stress, <laughs> it's a death heat is what it is. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we've been in uh, Australia for a couple of days. We're at RTX, mm-hmm. winding down here. Anybody do anything exciting while they were here? Jeremy, I know in the first two days you went to an aquarium and two zoos. Correct. <laughs> I saw a lot of animals. <laughs> uh, we got to pet a quokka. What the fuck met. is that? The it's like that's the smiley animal. Yeah, they're yeah. like little, oh, they're shit. like little smiley kangaroo yeah. rats. Yeah. That's exactly what? what they are. They're like little things. Like I like, like to imagine yeah, like, that, like that big. Was uh, was John Reisinger with you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The second day, he, okay. Here's I can tell because he always does this creepy tweet where he's like, "This is there's Charlie. an animal this is a good I'm boy. fingering. It's a good animal." Let me let me sum up what happened. The first day, Kat and I went to the Taronga Zoo. Right, which that place is the, fucking awesome. It's awesome. It's, it's really So we went there, yeah. we saw everything, and then the and next day, that was a creepy high. zoom in. Yeah. The next day, uh, we were like, we're going to go to the aquarium, and there was a zoo right next to it that we didn't even realize. Like, the wildlife zoo is right next to it. Trevor. So we wake up, and I get a text from John Reisinger. Uh-oh, that's never Uh-oh. good. And he was yeah. like, I, when that happens, I break my phone. He was like, just throw it away. Yeah. I assume he wants me on, on the spot, and I just throw it. He'll never he said, get me are again. you going to the Taronga Zoo today? And... There was a debate, <laughs> right? And I mean, about answers, you going no. or about you telling him that you were going? The second one. Yeah. So I was like, it's a big zoo. You could maybe get away without no, bumping I was into like, it. I was talking to Kat in the morning, and I was like, here's the deal. Like, I feel kind of bad. I'm like, so I could say, you know. Because no one like, likes him, and he has no friends, and his life is so sad. Yeah. So I was like, do All I? So then I texted him, like, I did the thing of, well, we went yesterday, but we are going to the aquarium today, you know, if you don't have anything to do. And he's like, he moved it further from me. and he goes, cool, I'll be there. And I was like, all right, sweet, we're leaving at this point. And I told Kat, I was like, let's go get breakfast, then we'll meet up with John Reisinger, and then we'll go to the zoo. And then John texts me and goes, hey, did you guys get breakfast yet? Are you going to get <laughs> breakfast? And I was like, all right, come get breakfast. That's, that's the thing, he's like a, he's like a fungus. You can't he's, get rid of him. Someone, he's like athlete's foot. Someone looks at the You rid of that, Jeff. You need to, you need to see someone. Yeah. You can't, you can't you've got athlete's it, foot. Yeah. You can get rid of yeah. it. I don't have athlete's foot. I'm just saying it's a thing to get rid of. I figured you'd say like, herpes. Yeah. Like, you can get rid of it for a little bit, but it always flares up again. So when you want to do on the spot. Every, every, time, yeah. analogy. every time you get rid of your John Risinger herpes, a new season on the spot just springs <laughs> up. Yeah. It gets you. It's season, just, season 36 rolls around. It's like four a year. You get the email from Cam. I'm the, the talent guy at work. He's like, hey, we got another flare up. <laughs> what are you doing Wednesday? Who's in? We got a flare up. Everyone Lovely needs to meet guy, their quota. He's great. Salt. Yeah, Cam is Salt great. of the earth. Bless yeah. his heart. For Absolutely. sure. Bless so anyway, the, 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 what was it? Kuwanga? Taranga? Taranga. No, like the, the like animals. Quaka. Quaka. Quaka, yeah. Quaka. Yeah. Quaka. Quaka. Like Who's seen a quaka before? You guys know what a quaka yeah. is, right? Yeah. I, mean, I like to imagine quaka behind like, their little it's, smiles it's, are just they look like, like they're, oh, they're, they're, they're hell beasts. Of murder. They're terrible. And, like, One bit Meg when we were here two exactly. years ago. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. Murderous Did creatures. Did you defend her honor? No. In a way that Gavin never Snap could. Snap all their no. necks. Yeah. Ryan ran away. I was like, I see you. on the own. Chris I knew Morris said something like he met one uh, like two years ago. They did a video where I they went to the one. island where they are and like met them and was like feeding them stuff. And they they f- met like certain ones. And I was asking him about it. And I was like, so those uh, quokkas you met, like, you're going to see them again when you go back and stuff like that. He's like, no, it turns out they were too friendly and a fox ate them. Oh. <laughs> or something like that. They were Hell dead. yeah. Fuck. I was like, demon nice. beast died. Awesome. That's a lesson. That's your like. <laughs> that's your like Walking Dead theory of like that's, kill everything. That's it's true. Yeah. That's, am I wrong? 
You're not wrong. You take it into every game we play, and I think you're right about it. I take it into every game. I, it's, and I feel like the Walking Dead theory kind of works in Australia, because Australia is kind of like one throw away from Walking Dead already. Yeah. Where, like, if you go outside of the city, like, everything's trying to fucking murder you and it's kill like you. It's like Florida. Yeah. 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 God. <laughs> The Don't go into the swamp. There's a lot of people younger. everywhere trying to Snakes. suck the life out yeah, of you. They're... Gators, they'll eat you up. Everything in Florida that's not concrete is poisonous. Even the old people. Yeah. They'll Especially. catch you. Yeah. They'll catch you. If their dentures fall out and get you, you'll get infected. Yeah. yeah. And then, then you'll you got, have dentures. You gotta lose the whole arm. Yeah. Jeremy, it's did happened. you see uh, any ruse while you were there? How do you not see a fucking roo I'm at just a zoo in Australia? Skin. I don't know what that. I don't know what a kangaroo the, is. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. we, yeah, we, there was a bunch. Yeah. Now, what, what color? They lounge are, around like lazy fucks, all of them. Like, well, that's was, my question: Is yeah. they do lounge around, but what color were the ones that you saw? Um, he doesn't see color. At the Tuonga Zoo, they were like the red kangaroos, so they're like the reddish brown. And then at the Wildlife Zoo, they were like black. Yeah, so I don't know what zoo we went to, but it was in Melbourne when we were here for PAX. And, oh, the uh, Melbourne Zoo. Yeah, of course. Um, but they took us to see some no, kangaroos, and yeah. they were specific. They were like, hey, hang out with these brown ones. They're cool. And we're like, all right. Then they're like, you stay the fuck away from those gray ones. Don't touch them. We're they like, will, will they kill us? Shit up. Oh, God. Yeah. Gus and I went to the Melbourne Zoo like a billion years ago. They took us there, and uh, we saw the giraffes, and a giraffe was like walking around, and we were like, oh, that's cool. And there were a bunch of little kids. And then there was like a fucking giant Australian field mouse, which is about as big as this. It was some sort of four-legged creature running around. Wombat? And That's called a child. Joke. And the, the, <laughs> It was the, No, it wasn't. It was on, it was on four legs. And, uh, That's a toddler, Jeff. That was it. And uh, the giraffe goes... And stomped on it, and all the kids yeah. started crying. And then giraffes, they're mean. It, like, went down, and it picked it up with its giraffe mouth and flung it up into Hell the yeah. air. Like, 20 feet up in the air. And there's just kids, like, going... Tell <laughs> me the body landed on a child. Wow. <laughs> and it did it. And it landed with a shrug. dying breath. It was like... With a wet <laughs> smack. Damn. Giraffe was just like, I'm not having your shit today. Have and you seen giraffes they, giraffe fight with their necks? They whip them around, oh, yeah, they, slam each other. When they fight, they, yeah. and if they go fast enough, they just take off. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. You hit the same You're trying person. to hit the same woman. Stop. Jeff Ramsey, I'm so She's sorry. Down. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Can we get something You're for not, this woman? not, though, is the thing. Here, we get poor like girl. a shield. I, I sit with Can we get some restraints beard. for Jeff? Can She's we get so a, sweet, too. Can She's we get like, a hoodie fine, or something fine. to cover her face? A ba- Dude, balaclava, if, if maybe? If you were in America, helmet? she would have taken out a gun and shot you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You I'm would be, to be dead alive. right now. And then yeah. sued you after shooting you. Right, after she murdered you, she would get your money. The Jeff Ramsey estate would be paying her kids for the next five years. Now I'm curious, what the hell have you been up to? Because your ass has gone on like your own little adventure. What are you every- talking about? I've been all yesterday. I was Jack's friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ryan, Ryan, Jack did. <laughs> yeah, oh, just yesterday. Jack like one day. Yesterday? Are I you was Jack's friend? Ryan and I had an identical schedule. Yeah. We literally had the exact same Are you same like rent a friend in Australia? I am rent a friend. Yeah. 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 Escort, yeah. if I was. Uh, yeah. It was one Jack's day. I'm a man escort. There was one day where <laughs> Lindsay, you were doing something. Maybe you went to the gym or something, and I was leaving. I did. I was leaving. Shut up! I was leaving the hotel, and I met Ryan in the lobby. We talked for like 20 seconds, walked out the door, and I'm like, well, I'm going that way. He's like, I'm going that way. I'm like, bye. That was it. <laughs> like, yeah. that's, that's pretty much it. Jeff was pointing out to me, he's like, when we ever we go somewhere, we all just immediately explode. Get as and go far away. away. That's that's awesome. spend every, Good, though. every goddamn yeah. day with each other. Yeah. I, need, I need to what hang out. Yeah, exactly. We get to a situation like this, and we're all like, well, what'd you do? And right. it's oh, yeah. different. So what'd yeah. you do? All right, listen. What'd you do last night, Ryan? Nothing. Or, okay. <laughs> After theater, what, what did you do? Well, okay, what about Friday? You had I, all of Friday to yourself. I watched about, well, Last night I watched about 75% of The Foreigner and then fell asleep. So you watched Foreign. How did you like that movie? Uh, the part I saw of it was uh, a really old Jackie Chan uh, still getting his ass kicked. I was kicked. pretty bored by it. It takes it a off. while to get going. Yeah. You were I guess, bored by Kingsman too, asleep. though, and we loved it. It was great. He wasn't bored. He didn't right. like it. So what did you do on Friday Bullshit. then? Because Friday we had pretty much all day to ourselves. Yeah, you know, I went on a walkabout. Oh, yeah, I went on a walkabout. I don't think you could say that. I, I, I think walked, that's racist. I walked. That's not racist. Well, it's like a cultural thing. Maybe it's thing. cultural appropriation, Jack. Get is, your fucking shit right. Oh, is that not racist? Oh. Why would that be a racist? Is Australian a Cult- race? Culturist? Yeah. yeah. yeah see, I, some people said yes. I heard. I'm getting it. very. Okay, okay, so you went on a walkabout. What is that? What does that no, mean? No, I just, I just walked. My, I just walked yeah. around. <laughs> what did you do last night, Jack? Last night, uh, we had theater mode live yeah. until uh, about eleven o'clock. About eleven. Woo. 
We learned all about marsupial you poor werewolves. Bastards. Yeah, great fucking hey, film. Any and of you that weren't there, you saved yourself about half a functioning brain. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. You really did. And then, uh, then after that, I went back to the hotel. I went to my room and fell asleep. That a boy. That's, See, you didn't get he your didn't nugs? even watch three no. quarters of the foreigner. Was, we were too far away from the nugs. We're not far at all. I, uh, There's not a, is there a McDonald's around us? See, like, it's no, a Michael's, Michael's giving you nugs. Yeah. Michael's nugs? giving you crap tired, about the nugs. Dude. This asshole didn't even order the nugs Jack, that he I promised. Forgot. You didn't order nugs? I forgot. We, I walked to McDonald's because you kept talking about the oh, fucking really? nugs. So we got back to the hotel and I was like, I'm getting nugs. I walked to McDonald's. I had the little computer thing. I made my order. I got the ticket. I walked up and I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to order nugs. And then when I was like, I got three double cheeseburgers. <laughs> three? Yeah, yeah, but you're still there. Yeah, but I didn't want to make a second order, and I knew I wasn't going to eat the three dollars. I'm a fat fuck American, all right? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. Also, all the the your large is like our small. Yeah. Okay? Like We're monsters. Asshole always not. orders extra burgers, and you never eat them all either. Because I'm American, damn it. I want burgers. I want extra burgers. You're one to fucking talk. There's like half an uneaten everything on your desk. Listen, the there is. That's very is. filling. If I was starving to death in the Achievement Hunter office, I would walk to your desk and still find <laughs> Lindsay does have like a compost pile. Man, we found, we found like it's an Orion skin pretty yeah, well. Also, yeah. Ryan, it's a five month old taco. You, you don't want yeah, it. You wouldn't eat shit off her desk because it would be like, hey, what are you doing when you picked it up? Garbo Man? You would fucking talk back. You gotta sort through them to find the fresh ones. Did you Garbo Man come yeah. from the fresh ones? Also, I've seen it. Also, I throw this to Lindsay. Talk about fucking waste and shit. We had uh, lunch yesterday, right? And they had burgers. So she makes herself a burger and they had beets. And she's like, I fucking love beets. I'm gonna yeah, put these like up. Beet they were like there, yeah. beet, so, like burger size to put on your burger. This crazy bitch gets like seven beets. Yeah. They're thick as fuck, and yeah. she puts like three on the burger, which is like bigger than the burger. It's now. essentially a beet again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she has a whole beet. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's got like four slices on the plate. She brings over the burger. The bun is off. There's three beets on it. There's like four or five beets on the plate. She got a fork. She's eating all the beets on the plate. Literally doesn't bite the burger once. The whole burger is sitting there, and I'm like, "Are you gonna fucking eat the, the burger at all that you made?" And she's like, "Well, I filled it's up on the blase beets." Blase now. She made a wait, beet sandwich. Wait, with some so burger. she's like, "I'm filling up on the beets," and I'm like, "Well, good thing you wasted that burger." Then the people are leaving the room because like lunch is over, and they're taking the food out, and she's like, "Hang on, hang on, I want one of those sandwiches." Grabs a fucking Keep sandwich and starts eating the sandwich while a burger's sitting right in front of her. The sandwiches were going away. The burger's there forever. But you didn't uh, eat the burger. And it, it, and it is. died there. I it's can come back to that in like two months. It's fine. But God forbid I order forever. a fucking extra double cheeseburger. Maybe I'll eat it. Maybe I won't. It's my goddamn right, okay? I'm going right. to buy extras, and if I wake up in the middle of the night, maybe I'll just pick it up and shove it into my mouth and go back to sleep. To be fair, uh, you're the reason why when they picked us up at the airport, I had just my little roller bag, and the guy's like, yeah, that's it? You just got the roller bag? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I thought all you Americans would drug a huge fucking suitcase with you. I'm like, no. That's, that's where I draw the line, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, luggage. Your luggage Dude. is like, you packed like... Pack the fucking feathers. Up pair of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, Michael's like, pick up this fucking bag. We, I like, lifted it, it was like nothing. We, was like, we got, I'm leaving the house in Austin, I was so proud of how little clothes I had. Because every time I travel, I'm like, I pack too much. I pack too much. I'm always like, I might need extra. Maybe I'll shit my pants. I do that sometimes. But never when I travel. It's usually just in my house or at work. A yeah. lot, of, lot of shit pants at the office where I don't have extra clothes. But okay. when I'm traveling, one, I don't shit my pants, and two, you could just have the hotel dry clean it if, I've you, already if done, you needed it. I've already done hotel laundry twice. Yeah. You bring a backpack, you what? bring three days worth of clothes, you're good. You're thinking. You're we're, thinking. We're slipping into so, the, the rich millennial podcast. We've got to be careful yeah. right now. So I, I had my bag, and when we landed finally in uh, Sydney, and we were all mostly on the same flight, everybody's kind of meeting up because we all got in a shuttle. Everybody's picking up their bags. I'm watching these poor motherfuckers go to the bag check. And their bags are coming in. And, like, Barbara's got, like, a bag that's, like, this fucking big. And she's like, oh, oh, my bag's so heavy. And I'm just like, pick, pick my bag up, pick it up. And it's like, oh, my God, what? Yeah. It's literally, like, lighter than the suitcase empty. Kat and I have, I like, a it. ton of bags right now. It is, it's, I hate it. I fucking I hate, hate having extra there, shit. Y'all brought like scuba gear and stuff. One bag is full of our scuba gear, and then like since we're here for like eleven days or something, the other one just had a bunch of clothes because we don't we don't do hotel laundry because 
We're I mean, cheap. We're cheap fucks. <laughs> dude, we're cheap to pay for it. Just don't ask. I will say, Jeff, a uh, shout out to remembering your suitcase when you got off the plane this time. <laughs> hey, wow. Good job. Good job. On and off the plane. I learned my lesson from la- last time I brought a suitcase and look what happened. This time, no suitcase, no problem. <laughs> Do you think whoever got that is enjoying the clothes? I hope so. I had a really nice belt away. in there. I, I had a couple pairs of shoes. Socks, right? What did you have? Yeah. You had like one of a kind socks. You I had some of my special socks. Your special edition yeah. socks. I had some like 25th anniversary edition van socks. Guy loses his oh. suitcase and all of his clothes and he's like, my socks, man. My socks were in there. You can't, can't buy them anymore. I can't get those anymore. And also the suitcase. Yeah, yeah, they stopped making the you fucking were like, suitcase. You were like, it was a special edition suitcase. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have a suitcase anymore because I can't replace that one. And I don't. You can. And all other suitcases pale and That was the one. Jack, they don't, they don't make anymore. They don't make anymore. They don't make it anymore. They don't make it anymore. I even anymore. looked for it on eBay. Holy shit. <laughs> they made one. He sees Jeff owned his it. Suitcase now on some eBay. guy in LA has it. Some yeah. bag, bag handler in LA has it. I bet Funhouse has it. Maybe he's choking on that over. Fareed's got it somewhere. Hello again. I'm back with a message from one of our sponsors, Honey. Hey, you'd never turn down free money, right? Well, if you shop online without the best coupons, you're already paying too much. Fortunately, there's a free browser extension called Honey that automatically finds the best coupons on the web so you always get the best prices on everything online, the whole world. In two clicks, add Honey to any browser for free, then shop like you normally do. Honey scans and tests millions of coupons in the background. At checkout, Honey will automatically apply the best coupon to get you the biggest discount. Over 7 million people use Honey every day, and together, they save millions of dollars. When Honey's got your back, you'll never overpay ever again. There's no reason not to add Honey to your browser today. It's free, takes just seconds to install, and will save you tons of money. Add Honey to your browser for free right now at joinhoney.com slash off topic. That's joinhoney.com slash off topic. Why don't you save some money with Honey? Did you go yet? If you're still here, then you haven't. Let's go back to the show. I dribbled. I did something last night I don't ever, ever, ever do. Go for it. Masturbated? No, he does that. No, he I, does it. I masturbate. Even though it fights him. If the I masturbate if Dick let him do it. all the yeah. time, just not to completion. Right. Because what my dick what you work. should have said was, come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Or yeah. for effort. <laughs> Let's keep it clean. I'm OG. Like, uh, yeah. The went, big O. I went dancing. What? Did, yeah. Did you dance? Kind of. I, I went dancing with, oh, uh, well, I don't know where they are. I went dancing with Megan and Nadia. Yeah. I'm... I'm They're not here. Alan. They're not your friends. It was fun. Did you dance? Uh, eventually. He swayed. It took me about yeah, 45 minutes bit. to work up the courage to go like Charlie Brown, like. <laughs> and then did you like dance <laughs> through the floor <laughs> and then like <laughs> leave? Yeah. yeah. Nice. And as soon as I started dancing, they're like, "All right, we're leaving." Yeah. And I was like, "Okay." Were you, did like, you a, do were, the work? Were you like wallflowering it, like just watching everyone else dance and acting funny? Or was like, "Yeah, I have this move where I get in the middle of everybody dancing and then I, I do this." Oh yeah, you're that guy. The Jeff. People love that guy. Yeah. Did you do any Tons of, of fun. No, yeah, I didn't do any sunny dancing. A lot of, a lot of elbows. And just... I, did the, I did the motorcycle. There you go. There you go. Yep. Looking good. It's the, the peacock. That's how he won me over, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you were yeah, impressed uh, by his da- dancing's a no. Yes. That's a no. <laughs> Jeremy, so, I give you maybe a head bob and a foot tap. This is, uh, this oh, yeah, is Jeremy I'll dancing. I mean, like, yeah. I'll, I'll, if, when the music's blaring and I'm back there, with just a bunch of idiots, then I'm like, uh, yeah. right? But like, if it's like the purpose is to dance, it's like people are dancing and having fun. I'm like, fuck them. I'm not. Dancing. I like how <laughs> I like how you won't mean. dance when people are dancing, having fun, but you fucking love mosh pits. Mosh pits are not dancing. That's yeah, yeah. that's releasing thrash. aggression. I know. Mosh pit is survival. Charging and fighting in a group. That's like, great. 
See, I also I, had a great that's Australian. Actually, that's where he met Cat. Yeah, I am. I am. No, Cat watched in horror from the outside of the mosh pit. I had, mosh a, pit. I had a like, great, I'm going to marry that dumbass right there. Yeah. I had a that great. Bloody guy. What I assumed to be typical run-in with Australians last night was after yeah, I that left. Was, this is a good one. At like two in the morning, like two thirty in the morning, I just put my headphones on and I was listening to music. I tweeted about it. I realized I was singing out loud. And people were looking at me like I was an idiot, and I'm like, why are they? I mean, oh, you, you I'm said that. At top but you lungs. do that when you're not wearing headphones. I guess I do. <laughs> but I was walking, and these two dudes, like two like beefy dudes, like like men, like Landon, like not Landon, but his brother. My brother. Yeah. Yeah, 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 got it. Big like guy. men, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Manly. big hands and muscles, like they punch big a koala. Big hands and muscles. And uh, muscle. like none of us. Muscle. And they're like, hey, 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 And they like, I'm like, nah. And they're like, huh? And I thought, oh, maybe they're the weird maybe they're here for RTX or something. You and Michael, scream. It's like three in the back. morning, so I like stop and I'm like, yeah. And I take my headphones out and they go, uh, hey, hey, hey. And they go, yeah, what? And they go, you know where, uh, you know where titty bars are? And I go, excuse me. And he goes, where's the titty bars? And I go, I don't know. I'm not from here. And they go, oh man. And they like kick the ground. <laughs> what? It was like he was like he was oh, like he's shucks, like, he goes man. he's like oh man. And they just stumbled on down. <laughs> Who does that? Why People who I, don't oh. have fucking phones in 2018, yeah, I guess. Exactly Unironically, ah oh, man. No one has <clears throat> ever needed to ask anyone where things are for about a decade now. It was bizarre. It. Watch this. Ryan's Googling titty Ryan, bars. Ryan, Google titty, titty bar. bar. Yes. Tell us the nearest titty shut bar. Up, shut up. Where are the titty bars? <laughs> I'm sorry. You are a pervert. Hold on. We're in a foreign country. It doesn't like working here. How did I know his phone wouldn't work? That, uh, yeah. that yeah. iPhone would work. Shut I up. Bet it All right. Well, show me. I bet it wouldn't. Nah, I don't know. Nah, it's, it's, it's money too much work. Is. is there a better word for titties in Australia? What do y'all oh, call yeah. them? What do you call titties? Okay, cool. They're called quackers. Everyone went, I don't know. We don't, <laughs> my we don't talk about that stuff. <laughs> we ignore them. Yeah, so, like, we're very Okay, right Michael now, and I have the greatest person at our signing, though, who came up and was like, had a fanny pack. Yeah, that was awesome. She goes... Like, can you sign my fanny pack? She goes, I know you don't really say that in Australia. We go, like, Michael brought it up. Because he was like, doesn't that mean something bad I heard bad it before. Here? Yeah, she, brought, she was Australian. And she's, yeah. like, she's like, oh, you signed my fanny pack. And we're like, oh, sure. And it she it said was odd like, to aura, me. something else. She called it something yeah, else. Yeah, it was odd to me. Because I'm like, well, you guys don't call it fanny packs. Don't you call it something else? And then I don't even remember what the fuck yeah, they do call it. A foo pack. It was like a bum bag or something. Something like that. It, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Bum bag. Yeah. yeah. And so she's like, yeah, we don't really call it that. And Michael's like, yeah, doesn't that mean, like, doesn't Fanny mean something? Like, what does that mean? She goes, it means down under. Yeah. She goes, she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes like this. It's down under. <laughs> and I, I lost it. I thought it was awesome. Uh, yes. I, I have, I have like good my news favorite. and bad news. Uh, good news and bad news. If you want to see what's down under, um, uh, it looks like they're closed right now. You got Minx, Gentleman's well, yeah, Bar, and Restaurant. Day, Ryan. Minx? Minx, Ooh. Gentleman's Minx. Bar, like and Restaurant. At night. Do they do breakfast? Uh, no, or they're closed right now. They don't open uh, till 6. Yeah, but they... Well, we got I get what time. you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You, Actually, it doesn't open until 6 p.m. They serve on, night breakfasts. Oh, it doesn't open until 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Oh. Ah, okay. Damn. Don't know what's up with that. Taking a long okay. weekend. Here you go. You got Dollhouse Strip Clubs. Doll, that sounds great. That's no restaurant, though. I've been know. to the uh, Dollhouse before, actually. I want to eat wings That'll while we're going to That'll be open at 9 p.m. tonight in case you want to have Not an here, early strip dollhouse? experience before church. I don't think that's a chain, Lindsay. That's probably No, straight ones. up. I went to the Dollhouse Strip Club in North Carolina. Look it up. It's real. I mean, again, yeah. Probably not the same establishment. I bet I they both f- share the name. It's bigger. I feel like the third option doesn't really fit in with the rest, but you could go to Peter's Hem Inn. Oh, I heard no. There's some swinging titties at that inn. No, yeah. I have I have a question. So because it's called a fanny here, do you guys have a subsection of porn called granny fannies? God, I'm just curious. Well, I that know, guy like, knows. Everyone, he, know, he shook his head. Yes, he, was like, I saw yeah, that. he was like, I've checked. I have seen every porn <laughs> in this country, and there is not one called granny. You know what? I it, like talking about that. I still kind of feel bad for it. watching porn in Australia. Like that's like me when I was 12 years old, where you're waiting for oh, the picture to like load. Oh, I haven't done it. You guys really need internet because what you have is not that. Well, they have it adult sucks. films available at our hotel, that's and Michael a, and I started watching a few. Y'all that, watch some weird well, ass porn. Let's not right? say Michael and I started watching. I started watching some, and it's some weird. It's gonna happen. To <laughs> you. All right, I was watching it. it. Michael, you you told me all so about I'm, this. I'm flipping through the I'm flipping through the movies at the hotel, and like uh, like Ryan, I was perusing through many of the films. They had the foreign. I've watched like six movies already. Since yeah. I've been here, uh, watch Bram Stoker's Dracula at like Best six a.m. on Yano's Friday for no reason. Six a.m. Sure. You should be watching Murder She Wrote, dude. I, Come on. It was when you were tweeting about that I was watching Bram Stoker. Okay, so 
uh, I'm flipping through, and they have a category called adult. And I'm like, well, yeah. they said everything was free. I'm an adult. Let me invest <laughs> in this. <laughs> I'm an adult. I, you know, I, I that put, sounds like it's talking right to me. I put my own pants on. I put my shirt on, you know. And then I take them off and, and watch an adult movie. And I take my dick out. So I turn it on. And I can't remember the first movie I picked. It was like one of them was called Bitches. That was the second one. <laughs> Bitch, it was, bitches. Yeah, it was like it was like something Polish sex slaves or something like that. I can't remember. Right, nice. And I'm like interesting. It hit play. Hold, hold on. What was it like? Polish sex slaves four. No, or there was, like there the was no number. It's, it's always original. a sequel. It's original. Never original. It's always a sequel. There was never an original. It was I'm like, I can't jump in mid-story. Oh, absolutely. Right. you got to watch the first three. Right. It's like but, the Howling Three. So yeah. I put it on. First thing I notice is like the whatever logo comes up of the company. And it's like... Lionsgate. It's like one by six aspect ratio. I'm like, I don't know what this is. It's like a cube <laughs> inside... The the oh, giant like screen. Letter in yeah. It just doesn't make yeah. any yeah. sense. Yeah. It's like a triangle. It was really weird. Yeah. The, the movie time itself. You use the zoom feature yeah. on the computer. Yeah. The movie like, is ashamed to be on the screen, so it's like, hiding as much of itself like, as it can. What the fuck is this? It starts very playing. Modest. This fucking movie has got to be from like 1978. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? Did it have like it's a it, film grade? The golden age. It's yeah. weird. It's, it's actually weird. public domain. At it's this weird point. to watch a porn where you know everybody performing in the movie's dead. They're dead. Or they're wearing diapers at this point. Well, this one was weird because it was also like a blend of a bunch of porn tropes. It was like a woman was in her wedding dress who had just come home from her wedding. She was in her kitchen when the repairman There's comes a plumber. and he's ready to fuck her. There's a plumber involved. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's great. You and always it, need a it plumber. It was just like, yeah, the, they're probably dead by There's now. There's something for everyone, basically. So then I was were like, they, now, were these local? Plot? Were they domestic or were these imports? I think imports. I don't, yeah, it wasn't they local. Weren't Australian. They were not Australian. Not Australian. No. And so, so the then, porn in Australia is still American. And yeah, I, I sounds don't, like it's Polish. Yeah, yeah. Polish. they were speaking English though. Also, twist on bitches. You think the bitches are going to be the women? The bitches are the dudes because they're getting whipped by the women. Is that what was? They're the bitches. I don't even remember it. Yeah. So I put on. <laughs> Lindsay's like, "What the fuck?" So it's bitches. empowering. Yeah, yeah, it was empowering. The, what the fuck, bitches? I I play it, and again, it immediately opens. Clearly from the 80s, same thing. Like it's like one seventh of the screen is displaying the movie. And it's some weird ass, like, woman's like right up to the camera and she's like, we're bitches. Blah, 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 blah. And like, I fast forward and yeah, it's just like a bunch of women like beating on men and they're also all dead. And I'm just like, did, did they not make porn anymore in Australia? Like, did they stop 40 years ago? They don't have any new well, they thing. They stopped letting it into the country, they it sounds them. like. It was just. Well, I mean, they slapped them around. Well, I, I mean, they died I mean, like, from old age. Oh, wait, you should go okay. through it and see if you can find one that's widescreen. I'm prob Ryan, I have a new... I'm going to try it tonight. Well, that's yeah, adult HD. Report I, back. I, I, I mean, like, in, that, but that's still a out. thing. I'll take right? SD like, at this point. <laughs> like, making a porn movie is still a thing, right? Like, is that... Yes. Is it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's I still just, the internet. I don't like, know, Jeremy. Internet, what are you doing later tonight, my friend? I'm yeah. not interested. But I just like... I got a couch I'd like to show you. I'm a tiny... I'm a little bit interested. There, but like with the internet, you can stream. Like you man, can, and I have, Jeremy. There's since no I've been way. Here. There's like, I, it would be. You can't watch you can't all the sentence. porn in the world, right? You'd be dead. I love it. That sounds like a challenge. Jeremy yep. won't let himself finish a he's sentence, like, he was like and he'll kid. start like eight sentences I'm in a like row. like that all fucking right. that kid. Like, did you ever right. have it? And then you thought, and you, well, you ever is, wonder when you dream? Yeah. And then it's, you the, thought, it's the more and I, I say, the more I talk about it, the more I realize about it. The angrier then it makes me. Then he gets me. angry. He's like, "What? I, let me tell you." <laughs> so, I was watching. God damn it! <laughs> it's like if there were two of me, I'd be interrupting myself a lot, going, "I know," and then blah, blah, and then he's like, "Yeah," but I have to interrupt myself because you're like Gollum, basically. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's exactly me. Now, question: Since you mentioned, has anyone masturbated themselves to death? I'm sure that's happened. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, uh, someone uh, said yes. So Michael you Hunter, the lead yes. singer of In Excess. Uh, yes. uh, what's <laughs> his name? For, uh, fucking I'll take the hit on this one. Or, what, what the David Carradine. David right? Carradine. Well, yeah. he didn't really masturbate. Yeah. No, no, no. no. He just count the yeah. If you yeah, but that's being good. I mean, yeah. I guess so. I bet someone's accidentally jerked it too hard, ripped the penis, and just you know, blood out. So I bet someone like huh. Yeah. The Olympics. I, I saw a news article recently about a dude who was getting a... Uh, he asked his girlfriend to sit on his face in a very loving way. Um, but her ass was huge. And she started doing her thing oh, and snapped no. his neck. He's yeah. okay. I was expecting... He's okay. To seal, but. All right. Wrong. Well, <laughs> he's out a little bit. 
Okay is a bit more of a not having your neck snap. He still snap. loves yeah. her, and that's what counts. And now all he can do is let her sit on her face. <laughs> that's true. That's a great, <laughs> great tagline. That's, that's all, all he can do is love. Can all I she die did was that make way? sure it's locked in. That's sorry, Jeremy, my are we face 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 Anybody else watch any porn? Or? Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, reading about weird fucking turn right here. here. I'm watching Jeremy's internet load top to bottom, just like you described. Yeah. It's Speaking awful. of loads. Motherfucker, I'm Half in my listen. hotel. We're I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. I have full bars, and it can't load words on Twitter. Yeah, I just want to kill myself. Yeah. How do you survive here? Listen, Jeff, it's not, that I'm, it's not that I'm bored with this, but when I see the tagline, unusual boy dies after masturbating 42 times. Holy shit! I need to finish. I mean, well, there you go. <laughs> that's the answer. Jeremy, yeah. no, don't finish. That's what did What's it. What's the time period? 42 times in like two days can be normal for a kid. <laughs> the first two days. The first sentence of the article. His mother told a local newspaper that she already knew about his she son's kept, addiction. She kept the count. And that she planned to see the doctor, but the decision came too late. <laughs> <laughs> that can't what be happened? a real article. No one would legitimately <laughs> write that. Unfortunately, he didn't <laughs> go on. I would, the young man began it's to masturbate tragic. at midnight and spent the whole night to compulsively touch himself. Uh, let's see. At school, the classmates commented on the boy's problem. Yeah, kid was jerking off every day in school. It was really weird. <laughs> I saw a kid jerk off in high school. In class? Yeah, dude. He had a book. Like right here. He was just like... You got to the microphone. But I went to high school in Alabama, too, so... Yeah. Sure. yeah. The teacher was <laughs> jerking off. Yeah, so that was actually what the teacher doing that. What he jerk that. into? And then... <laughs> the I, I, was, there isn't too was much, much to do about nothing. Was a catcher in the rye? <laughs> yeah. Fred commented. No, it was a textbook. It was, uh, it was, a, it was, a, it was Robert Frost poem. It was, sa- <laughs> yeah. it was uh, science class, like physical science, maybe? I mean, you were in Alabama, so it probably just was this science. Really That's true. Physical science. Send me that link, Jeremy. That's a page. Yeah. You it. got it. It was, it was science, and it had one page in it that said, God did it. Yeah. 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 Science. <laughs> you went to school in Georgia. You should know. No, no, no. We got, we got slight. We had two pages. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, God did it, and. and Don't then, question the God did it. <laughs> the second page talked about how stupid people in Alabama were. Yeah. <laughs> Second page said the earth is flat. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is. And, and gods of Egypt, is. it was flat. You guys know that, yeah. right? Flat earth. Flat earth. Flat earth. Do you have those over here? Flat earthers? Do you have, flat, do you have people here that are so stupid they think the earth is flat? Someone just sadly oh, shouldn't. Are some of you in the audience right now? Let's back that up. Anyone here a flat earther? Anybody? No. Raise oh, your hand. Don't raise your hand. Even if you think it, don't raise your hand. Get the fuck out of here. Plug your ears for a minute. There they are. We're going to say nice things about flat earthers. Yeah. I think you can see the edge no. from Perth. I've heard. <laughs> no, that's clearly no. I mean, that was the... Never mind. There isn't a lot of flat earthers, you know? They just sail away and just fall. It's, if only. It's the last we see of them. <laughs> hey, I'm Michael, find- before this podcast is over, remind me, I'm, sw- I'm going to do something I'm not supposed to do on it. Oh, that's right. I know exactly what he's not I'm supposed gonna, to do. I'm going to announce this show out. I'm not supposed to announce. They told me not to. But I'm going to buck the system. Yeah? Is it a good show? Yeah. Why is it a show? It's a show with the name it's, it's issues. Show Does it have a title? title? <laughs> Jeff, you can't announce that show yet. They told me I couldn't. That's awesome. Do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Break all the rules. I'm going to break all the rules. It's I don't a care. new Achievement Hunter show. Yeah. You don't even know. If nothing else, I'm happy you're doing But just this. remind me before I forget. Because I'll I don't remind you, doing. Jeff, because I could not be more excited ever about a show. I know. I'm it's so a show that Ryan, Ryan's really excited about, it too. I'm so hard. You know, keep, people keep asking me, what are you excited about this year? I'm like, I can't tell you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, Jeff's going to go for it. But you know you know the scene in Deep Blue Sea where the shark pops out? The shark out fucking eats Sam Jackson. Eats Sam Jackson. And eats That's going to happen. Oh. Lewis is going to pop out from under the yeah. stage just and grab just, Jeff. Nah, he won't. Jeff, if you get eaten, I'll finish it. Here's the thing. Here's what's going to save us from that. Yeah. Uh, Lewis can't appear on camera. Oh, oh no, 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 you yeah, fucking what nerd. Fuck? What a nerd. Do you think he's here? Is he somewhere close? He's Lewis? absolutely yeah. here. He's always he's watching. Like a, a secret he, is he's about in the to Raptors. be spoken. He's, like, he's, smell he's, he's unhooking lights Lewis, right now. No, Lewis is yeah, smart enough to there. not sit in the I front row what do so we, he doesn't get a fucking bottle cap in the face. Yeah. What do we he's got? in the green room watching kind of funny videos. How many, how many people do you think is out there? What do we, uh, four, 200 at least. 200,000. All right, let's start a count. Do you think of the sound of two to 500 people booing would reach him and hurt his soul a little bit? Booing? No, he wouldn't give a shit. No? He doesn't care. That's true. He's cold and dark If they were booing kind of funny, he'd fucking come running in. Oh. 
Yeah. That's true. He broke down like what fucking they, if they Mission Impossible. Us, though, no, he'd have to war. I need to slow I'm not going to kill the poor lady. I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to restrain myself. God, I thought he was going for it. I was handing it gently over to you, Jack. What's going on? I thought he was going for it. I'll be honest. My life flashed before my eyes, Trevor, and I wouldn't have even flinched. Catch it with your teeth. So does the new show, is the genre, does it rhyme with corno? Listen, don't yes. spoil it. It's pornography. We're saving uh, it. I'm getting excited. Don't I'm not, it. Jeff, get an ounce it. You. Listen, we have nothing better than that, so save it. Achievement Hunter porn parody coming spring so of 2019. Get excited. We'll just need some stunt cocks. <laughs> get excited. Stunt is, cocks? Is the new I show. Is oh, it the continuation? Everyone cover your eyes. He's going straight up. Jeff, he's going to hit that woman in the face again. Oh, cover God, your, eyes. your eyes. I will. You're safe. Hello again. <laughs> Didn't mean to start early there. I'm back with another message from one of our sponsors, Casper. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Casper. Casper is a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize the... Let me try that again. Casper is a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its line of products to create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience. One night at a time. Casper's mattresses are designed by humans for humans. The original Casper mattress combines multiple supportive memory foams for a quality sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. Its breathable design helps you sleep cool and regulate your body temperature through the night. They're not just a mattress company. Casper offers a wide array of products to ensure an overall better sleep experience. I'll tell you this, audience. I own a Casper mattress. Boy, is it comfy. I rest my laurels on it. I rest my... My non laurels on it, just good for all kinds of resting. Comfy, secure, Casper. You can buy it easily online and completely risk free. It'll be delivered right to your door in a compact box. Casper understands the importance of truly trying out a mattress that, in all reality, you spend a third of your life on. Casper's available in the US and Canada, and now, hold on, the UK too. Get a $50. Credit towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash off topic and use promo code off topic at checkout. Terms and conditions apply, obviously. That's a $50 credit towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash off topic and using promo code off topic at checkout. Casper. She wants to see it coming. She likes to see the bottle through. Hey, Jeff. Here you go, buddy. No, oh, go. oh, shit. <laughs> She's an agent of chaos. Just, 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 hold on, it's how do I do it? the only thing I learned Jeff, in five years in the it? army. Tell me how to do it. Yeah, you're going to do it first I can't try. Tell, I, right for her eye. You can't. Ah. There we go. Yeah, okay. Yes. The speaker explodes. Do you know how to snap your fingers? Yeah. Then yes. you know how to do it. Didn't you, you learn you how to, like, take pictures or, like, uh, roll up your sleeping bag or it something? Went yeah, I did that, too, but this is cooler. You did, almost you, killed somebody. You gotta keep, well, you almost killed her twice. You got yeah. Everything gets rolled, right? Like, oh, you roll army, everything. You, you in the roll army. your clothes. You roll your sleeping bags. You roll your dick. What are we doing? You yeah, roll you roll your dick. Yeah. It's just like, I know this because I gotta put my in my, on. in my extensive Real research of watching nine seasons of Forensic Files over and over again, they caught one guy and they knew he was military because the person he murdered, their clothes was rolled up next to their body, and they're like, "This guy's in the military." Why did he take their clothes off? And why did he fold I, at all? Like. Because well, that's your question for a murderer. I don't fucking Wait, know. I kill Why someone. I'm gonna do someone. that now. Yeah. Just roll their then they'll up. think you're that military. It wasn't me, that Jeff's it was going Jeff. to jail for life exactly. for or, your murder. Or yep. when I kill him, I just there won't roll anything. I mean, Jeff's already like, a murderer. I got nothing to go on. Well, you gotta put the clothes somewhere, Let's Jeremy. Bite it. Damn it! Is this her? Take the fucking pin on the little hole. I don't know this? who this is for. I don't know what's happening. It's for the person. Fucking. I assume Jeff keeps winging in the face. This is the please don't sue me gift. It absolutely is that. Please don't sue us. She said she's not, but I don't believe her. You're gonna smudge my name? Don't Jack has a soul. You gotta oh, give yes. it a little love. You gotta, you gotta wait, and you gotta. Oh you gotta God! Here's on. another one. Don't hit another person. That's all right. To be fair, once we give her this, you can hit oh, her in the oh, face. Oh, it's going right for her. Oh, once you on. give her this, you can hit her in the face all night. It that's says true. rooster teeth. Is this the way should we hire her? Oh no, that's, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it's my badge. I'm giving her my badge. That badge will sign it, literally so. get you into anything. All right, anything. Jack. We need to yeah. kick Jack. Gotta be careful with that. With great power comes great responsibility. It can get you in anything except me, so don't try it. She's like, with this badge, yeah. I will access you. Want you, you want this till the end, or Jeff? Okay. Okay. Give me doing All some right. on the end. Now, okay. now okay. fling Ryan's it Ryan's gonna take credit for it. Hey. There you go. Hey. That's for Jeff. Hey. Sorry for him. I am so, I'm so sorry. sorry. This is the oh, fine print. Guys. Now you yeah. understand that by accepting this token of our generosity, you will not sue anyone associated with Rooster Tooth, especially Jeff. Rooster Tooth. I'll do my best. She said, "I'll do my best." She didn't say no. 
I'll she's try thinking, not to. She's thinking like an American. Good job. Yeah. What else can I get out of this? That's the equivalent of hush money. That's what we just yeah. did. Now, now yeah. she's like, oh, my neck. <laughs> Hell. Oh. I can't see. I can't Everything's see. Everything's crooked. Everyone Everything looks like body right? camps. Oh, also, please don't use that to get everywhere backstage because that will literally <laughs> walk do. you into everything. Or do. Whatever. Uh, that's true. I mean, it's like, almost over. Be on the lookout for someone with bottle cap wounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trying to sneak Are in. They winking oddly. My eye. <laughs> also, Jack, it's pretty freaking cute that you're wearing your wife's shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Katie's going to be here this weekend. So I'm wearing the velvet shirt that's going to be in the double gold box coming out like in a couple of weeks, mm. months. I don't know, whatever. So. Well, now anyway. you just spoiled yeah, Jack's announcement. I'm sorry. No, they already announced it. I Look, they already announced nice. it. That's the only reason why. Nice. So. I got anyway, you. yeah. Thanks. Katie okay. says hi, everybody. So that's how come, hi, how Katie. Come, how come you've never said, that's cute when I wore a ruby shirt? Because I, I don't know. I'm, I see you every damn day. I'm used to that shit. Bam. You see Jack every day. No. I don't yeah, but Jack's cute. No. <laughs> That's so sweet. You're wearing I mean, white shirt. I look at this guy. I Come wear on. my white shirt. Fuck you. Take out the trash. <laughs> I mean, our our relationship cute is like, sup, motherfucker. I love you. It's like, I fucking love you too. All right, bye. That's see not ya. true. That's our cute. Y'all got a cute kid, though. Yeah. yeah. yeah you do. Dude, she's crawling. She's a little cowgirl. Crawling. Fucking bitch is standing. She's standing. Yeah. She she can do like the like she's supplic- driving the, it? She can do like the drunk stand yeah. where she's like this. She's plotting her escape. Is she like she really is, is she just getting like super frustrated with her own limitations? No. Where she's that was like, God, God, damn it! That was, that was crawling. Yeah. And then she surpassed it, and she was like, "I'm fuck. I did it. No joke. Like the the, the day she crawled, like where it was like, that's it. You can crawl. It yeah. happened. It was yeah. like she went from like there all the way to there in like one run. She didn't stop." That night, we put her to bed, and she flipped the fuck out in her bed for, like, 20 minutes. She was, like, flipping and rolling and, like, not, like, crying or fussing or anything. And I was, like, no joke. Like, she's, like, I fucking did it. I did it. I crawled. <laughs> I do the stop. same thing, like, when I beat a game that's really hard. I just oh, fucking yeah. roll around, and I do this, like. Exhaust She was excited. Too. It's so goddamn awesome to watch her, like, become a human being and be alive. Like you're figuring yeah. out. She's, like. Yeah. I'm watching you. I'm. I see you. Because for uh, the first four months, it's like, <laughs> yeah, like a comatose. Like it's a like a comatose. Dude. Then, then like the next month is like they get slight movement, and the first thing a baby does is like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> yeah. And they constantly try to just die. That's oh, that's that, what babies' instincts are. That die. never stop. Enjoy it because she's gonna yeah. turn twelve she's like, someday. She's thrashing around in the crib, going next stop the world. She's yeah. sticking, <laughs> a, sticking out her tongue too, so she looks saucy, like she's mischievous. She's like, mm-hmm. it was. It's funny actually. We've got um, we have like a, a tub, like a, a a bath thing that we put in the bathtub to wash her in, and it, it's got like several levels to it where it's like this big, but then it's got like padding in it because she's tiny. But then as she gets bigger, you can take out the pieces. So the other, like, before we left, like, shortly before we left, we took out all the pieces. And we're like, holy shit, like, she's big enough to just sit in the whole thing now. And she can, like, hold herself up and sit there in it. And Lindsay fills the bathtub up. She, she puts her in it. She's sitting in it. And she, like, she can sit herself up now. You know, she can crawl. She can move around. So we don't need to, like, hold Hand her. Hand me the soap, mother. Yeah. So she's, she sits in it. She gets in it. And I'm talking to Lindsay, and in like one second goes by, and she just goes, <laughs> and just goes underwater. <laughs> and I was like, grab her! And Lindsay grabs her, and she's like, like push it. <laughs> she's like, oh my God. Did you see she's not crying nothing. She's just like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Why? Why couldn't I breathe? It was it's just like, like, one of those, uh, it's like one of those <laughs> computer chairs that just like you pull the lever and just yeah. push. It, dude, she just went, <laughs> it was like, uh, you know, when uh, Neo wakes up from the Matrix and he goes, yes. <laughs> and goes down. It was like that. She was just like, she comes one, back up. One time, that doesn't go away. One time when Millie was three, we went to Miami for a vacation. We went oh, to the pool. Oh, to Miami. It was just like that. Oh, and and uh, we get to the pool, and Millie sees the pool, and she looks at me, and I'm like, yeah, we're going to go swimming. And she just starts booking it. And I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? She just dives, face like feet first, into the pool, just sinks to the bottom. And I'm like, ah! And I dive down in, and she's just sitting in the bottom of the pool like this, like... <laughs> Yeah, great, <laughs> dude! Awesome. I guess I did. The, apparently, I did the same thing. I was then you were like, and it's like awesome. oh, you can't do that. And she's like, Nah, you'll still save me, dude. She didn't cry nothing. I was just like, you can't breathe under there. The age of three is like the age of immortality. It Here's, really is. Yeah. They're Here's, not afraid of death. Like, yet. I, I was around a pool just the same age, age or so. Like, I disappeared. My parents were like, Where the fuck is Trevor? They looked down. I'm just hanging out at the bottom of the pool, my arms straight out, just looking around. 
Kids that died two years that's, ago. That's when the real Trevor died. And then they got I had a, a step I took this form. <laughs> I don't think I'm in your world That's now. where the time split in Alfredo was born, actually. I don't, think <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever told this story before, but I had a stepsister when I was like 10 who uh, came to stay with us for the summer, and she was bigger and meaner than me, and she didn't like me. And we went to our neighbor's pool. I like her already. And she goes, I want to I do a cool thing with you. And I go, okay, what is it? And she goes, here, stand by the pool. And she tied me up with a rope. And then she pushed me face first into the pool. Holy shit. And I sank to the bottom. So she attempted murder? Yeah. And then, like, some people came in and pulled me out. And she goes, if you, if you tell my dad, I'll do worse. And I was like, oh. Wait, what's worse than murder? Than you? attempted murder? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was just like, I spent the entire summer, like, looking over my shoulder. That's fucking terrified. Oh, man, I hope my mom divorces this guy soon. Oof. Did God, she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got out of there. I thought I was Eventually. bad. Fuck. What's, uh, just just like curious, a scene out of Sinister. One of the first times that Jeff met Iris, I remember you were sitting with her, and like Jeff is Iris' godfather. We talked about that before. And you were so sweet and caring to her, and you're like, oh, hey, little one, what's up? And then you went, I wonder what the first shitty thing you're going to do is. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't know. So now I'm curious what you can talk about. What's the shittiest thing that Millie's done aside from telling you that she doesn't love you? Uh, okay. well, is that shitty? That's just true. I don't know what the true. shittiest thing Millie's done is. You, but you probably don't know the shittiest thing she's done. <laughs> I'll give you an example of where we are at 12. Is oh, before God, we came awesome. here. Like my last, one of my last interactions with Millicent. Uh-oh. Sweet Millicent, who I love. We were hanging out, and she's like that thing where she wants. She's just hanging out in her bedroom with her on her fucking phone, talking to her friends or whatever. And I'm like, "Hey, let's go get some food." Nah, I'm not hungry. Hey, let's play video games. Nah, I'm good. Hey, come out of your room. Let's just do. Any, we'll put a puzzle together. Nah, I'm good. I'm like, "Do you want to spend two seconds with me?" Not really. And I'm like, "I wanna. I'm going out of town for like two weeks, and I'm not gonna see you." And she's like, "Yeah, no." And I'm like, "And I, and I love you, and I want to hang out with you." And she's like, "Okay, nah, I'm good." And I'm like, "Sweetie." I, I, can I just can you can I just hang out with you? And she's like, I really don't want to. And I'm like, Millicent, I fucking love you, but can you not be an asshole for like five minutes? Steph, can you just pretend to give a shit about me and just like make eye contact and we'll like watch a TV show or just anything? Just get like, just give me five minutes. I, I'm desperate. And uh, she goes, uh, she goes, uh, and I'm not paraphrasing. This is because she's a smart kid. She goes, uh, here's the deal. And I know I'm in trouble. And I go, okay. And she goes, uh, it, it's kind of like this. You made me. And uh, so I am a product of you. So this is who I am. And if you don't like it, you should have raised me differently. Anything wow. that you don't like about this is your fault. She's right. So you're getting what you asked for. She learned from watching you. And I was like, uh, okay. And Damn. I'll just, Damn. and then I just went and cried in a closet, and she continued to watch YouTube or whatever. Damn, yeah. it's funny you said that because I was gonna say she oh. learned. She learned. Yeah, you know, she picked up on everything you've said and done. God. But then you said it for me. I'm so fucking nice to her though. Slammed like the down one another human diet nice coke. To. Yeah, but you know, she's seen you around everyone else. Yeah. I you know you're in trouble when your kid says, here's the deal. Yeah. <laughs> she became the parent. Yeah, I wasn't right. like that at 12, but I was telling Jeff yesterday. So I think it was Gus was talking about it, something they did in kindergarten. There was like some shitty thing that kids do. Totally normal. And I was like, well, when I was in kindergarten, that was the start of like Lindsay bullying phase. It was on the ramp up, but I was just nice. a notorious liar. My just, favorite, Lindsay. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yeah. I was hung out with you in Boston. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just lied about everything. So... One day, uh, my teacher was like, yo, you have to do some math problems, which is, is what like... you said? She was like, yo, Coolio. Hey, what's up? Yo, yeah, fill this shit yo, out. Yo, yo, Lindsay, Lindsay, Coolio. tuck, tuck, do some I math. I talk very quietly. I got to get just, up on I'm the mic. Just, I'm, I'm looking at your, your mic technique. I'm realizing yeah. you Gangland. could not hold any more. Yo, 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 my kindergarten Jeff, teacher. Jeff, yeah. Point it up. Please, 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 please. Thank you. No, My kindergarten teacher that. asked me That's to do some math. I said, no, I hate math. I'm not going to do it. It was like five equations, nothing that hard at all. But because I was a piece of shit, I told my teacher, I was like, hey, um,. My mom has terminal cancer, and she only has about two months to live, and I'm really not feeling doing this math equation right now. And my teacher was like, I'm so sorry. You don't have to do anything. If you don't want to do it, you go over there and just relax. And so she called my mom and was like, I'm so sorry to hear about your cancer. My mom was like, Lindsay's a piece of shit. Like, she's a lying piece of shit. I can't believe she told you like that. 
the teacher is like, like wasn't your mom in on it? That's <laughs> fucking in. Your mom was like, insane. here's the deal. Like I was a piece of shit kid. I was a piece of shit kid. That blows my mind. Yeah, yeah. bad human. I never went for that. Also, to be fair though, it blows my mind because if I said that, I would have been beaten to death. Yeah. That my parents would have murdered me. Yes. And the cops would have been like, it's justified. Yeah. They would have let him off on it. I certainly wouldn't have done anything like that as a kid. Holy shit. It was never stuff like that for me. For me, it was always the. Jeremy got in a fight again. <laughs> They'd be I, like, all right, we'll take him. Yeah, exactly. Told, my mom'd be like, my, oh, it's not like him. Take me in. I told my principal that the, that my mom's friend that babysat me molested me because I didn't want to kill him. Fuck, dude. Hey, it was funny at the to time. To be fair, it was Alabama. Alabama. It was a different time. And it was he, Oregon, actually. You did actually get molested. I didn't so. get molested, did I remember? But it was in the 80s, and it was in Oregon. Different. I'm never having children. It Fuck was the that. 80s. Yeah. God oh, damn. No, they're precious. They're all fucking horrible people. Your kids were getting Lions more nice. shit at the last RTX. <laughs> what did they, they do? Apparently they Jeff, turned I mean, into Jack little demons the most last time I was child. gone. Yeah, Jack I was a kid. fucking goody two-shoes, man. I was a yeah. good student. Still I was a good, good son, good student. I didn't get in any trouble. Well, what are you worried yeah, about? Jack, I was just, horrible. I was just an asshole. What That's what a fun thing? life. I mean, what I'm here. Hold on, Jack. What I'm hearing from you is that you're real afraid of Katie's genetics. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, I'm afraid of shit like this. I don't. I can't. I don't trust anything the that comes out of a just child. Saying, I'm the perfect child, but I don't want to have kids. So, Jack, what was your what there. was your uh, like detention life? Like, what did you like? He trouble with the one. principal. I really didn't have one. Jack, what was like, the I worst never, thing? I never did anything to get what in trouble because I wasn't thing? a piece of shit. You never went to detention? No, not once oh, in high school. Man. Not once in any school. Once? No. I'm with I just Trevor. Did, you I had to do steal something your, shit. You didn't steal your teacher's once. purse? The biggest thing I did was I, I snuck out of school with some friends to go see, fucking hell, to go see uh, the new uh, the Star Wars movie, the oh Phantom Menace. Oh, my God. I stole, it was Not in high school. It. We literally pulled away, and they're like, the parking lot attendant was there, and I was like, ah, shit. All right, and then we went and saw it, and the next day, like, we got called into the, into the principal's office. He's like, hey, don't do that again, and that was it. I so I was a fucking good kid. I never did shit like that. Fucking himself bad boy. Out. Yeah. I feel so guilty. I, I felt really out. bad. I pants the kid in I front of the teacher one time and his dick hit her desk. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? And she was like, dude. And he was like, dude. And she's like, put it away. When, when I was a, when I was a teenager, we were rambunctious. We'd go out and we'd like egg houses all the time. Love that. Fuck it. It was started as like ding dong ditch bag of fucking flaming shit on your doorstep. Yeah. yeah. Did that Classic. all the time. Classic. All the time. Horrible. Uh, egg houses. But we'd be smart. We'd always go like one neighborhood out so we didn't get caught. So <laughs> one day I wasn't even there. I don't know where the fuck I was. A friend of mine who frequently with me would egg houses because we were pieces of shit. He went and he bought some eggs and he was like I can't remember exactly how he got caught. He wasn't actually, he didn't like egg a house yet, but he got caught by a cop at like 9.30 at night with a dozen eggs just like out on the street. As you do. As you do. It's like, on like a weeknight or something. And, and the guy was like, it was like a local cop too of like, you know, like, come here, come here. He's like, what are you doing? And, and immediately he goes, uh, I bought these eggs for my friend's, my friend's mom. And they're like, yeah, where they live? And it's like, oh, he lives over, he lives over on uh, Watts, Watson Ave. And they're like, yeah, I'll go with you. I'll take you there. And he's like, oh, okay. So, because he was, it's only like a couple blocks away. It's where I grew up. It's fine. My house doesn't exist anymore, so you can't go there and like kill anyone. Um, so the cop basically escorts him to my house where I'm not at. They knock on the door. And my mother opens the door. And it's a friend of mine who's like over the house all the time. My mother knows him. And a police officer. And the cop says to her, he goes, ma'am, like she doesn't know shit. They're, like we don't have cell phones or anything yet. He's like, ma'am, this, this, this young man says he, uh, you asked him to buy some eggs and bring them to your house. And she goes, yep, I did. <laughs> and he's like, what? She's like, yeah, I did. And he's like, oh, here you go. Here you go, Mr. Jones. He's like, thanks. And then leaves. And my mother's like, Got him out of that jam. <laughs> That's how I grew up. Denise, Nailed it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you a tip. That a lot of people don't know. I was a latchkey kid, and I used to microwave eggs for for lunch. And uh, what? Yeah, you can microwave an egg. What is that? Uh, crack it in. first. And crack I, the egg you, first. If not, you burn an egg, it's like the worst smell. I've ever burned an egg before. 
It's the worst smell ever. So what we would do in the winter is we'd go around to houses with chimneys with smoke coming out of them, and we would just chuck eggs until we get them in the chimney. Oh, my God. So then the, chimney, the egg goes through the chimney, and then it pops, and then the fire burns it, and then you just stand back and you wait about 15 minutes, and every window and door flies open. It's fucking amazing. What the That's fuck, brutal. Man. Yeah, if you ever we, get a chance, you should do noted. it. We would take, uh, we'd also take salami and put it on cars. That's brutal. Yeah. That's, That's bad. Hot. brutal. Because it, it peels the paint it right off. It peels the paint off. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Did you make like salami faces? We would make yeah, faces. Yeah, you make faces. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we no, make faces. That's the fucking yeah. worst. No, see, so the thing is, I, didn't, I, I never did that stuff. But me and my friends never did that yeah, stuff. No, you just that. beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, we did. But like, <laughs> yeah. we, we never did I shit had, like zero violent crimes, I'll say. Well, to right, be no, fair, I good. caused my car a crash once. I didn't have violent crimes. We were always Actually, cool with it after. But uh, like, we yeah, never did shit like that to other people. We would kind of fuck with each other in each other's cars. Not stuff like strip the paint off and stuff and shit like that. But one time I walked out of Kat's parents' house, like, um, and they were fucking. No, so I walk, I left Kat's, uh, I left her house, and so I, I walked outside to go get in my car, and I go to reach for the handle, and like I go to put my hand on the handle, and it doesn't go. And I'm like, what the? F-? And I realized that my entire car was wrapped in saran wrap. The entire car was entirely cased in this, and I was. I just sat there for a moment and went, those motherfuckers, they got, like, they did it. And I, I had to, like, go back inside, ask for a knife, like, cut all this shit off, like, grab it from under the car. They had taken a giant roll and thrown it over the car, wrapped it under, oh. it over. The whole car was wrapped. And I balled it up, got my seat, and started driving down the road, and I just see two headlights turn on in the distance. And as I drive by, my friends tear down the other way and hang out the side of the thing and saran wrap and throw it at me. I was that's like, you guys fucking suck. Man. That's Jeremy. <laughs> we used to do meaner. Like we, I used to buy super glue. Yeah. And I'd go over to houses in the neighborhood, and I'd just squirt the entire thing of super glue in the front door lock. And then you'd go back. And then you'd go back like prank. Then you'd go back a week later after they got the locks changed and do it again. Ah. Oh. I'll be honest. There was one summer when I, I ruined the, this, uh, this dude who lived there. Why do you think your like daughter's him? a piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> right? Why do you think she treats you like... I must have done it fucking 15 times in this one house. Yeah, I'll be honest. That reminds me. Anytime we'd like egg a house, shit on the front stores, that anything. We'd always go out of town every single time. Oh, and yeah. most of the kids I did it with, like two of them lived on my block. And then like another couple lived like two blocks away. It was all like the same neighborhood. It was one fucking house we would always hit on the way back. Like, it was the, like, go out, do whatever, and it's like, all right, time to get this one again. We hit this house, like, 50 times. Literally any time ever coming back, it's like, got to make a pit stop. All right, let's go home. Awful. Every single Awful. time. Like, don't know who lived there. Never saw them. All I can think of is the dude from Always Sunny with his car. He's like, yes, I love that car, yes, man. it's fake, fake why? Bruce Mathis. He's like, why are you trying to ruin my life? That was me and like five other kids every single that's time. We that's did. terrible. I, feel, I don't condone I, this. I Punch feel your bad. friends all you want. You get in fights every day. I don't, don't condone do it either, but it was 15 years ago, and I'm going to laugh about it. The parents it. are probably like, little Jonathan, who do you know that's doing this? And they probably started a huge <laughs> I don't even thing. Think, I don't even think any kids was other kids. Like. I wasn't even close to the worst. When I lived at, like outside of New Orleans, I had a friend who showed up middle of the year. This is hurting, And Jack. he got transferred to our school. And I'm like, and it's like, oh, what did you get transferred here for? And he goes... I burned down my other school. Ho! He burned the he school had to down. Be transferred. I don't Man, they I get fucking bored in Alabama. He got suspended. He eventually got expelled because he used to take. Uh, we had, <laughs> oh, it's bad. Go ahead. He got. He, wait, he, wait, hang on. This oh, is bad. Oh, it's bad. He would make paper airplanes and he would pour like butane on them and set them on fire and throw them at the teacher. Wow, that's extreme. Whoa. And they had to have a second teacher sit in class to watch the teacher's to back. To waft the Jeff, fire out. Because Jeff. he was throwing rocks at the teacher when he would turn around. <laughs> Explain to me how you burn down one school and get into another. Yeah. Hey there, it's me again. I have another message for you from another one of our sponsors in this amazing episode. And I want to thank the Dollar Shave Club for keeping me trim, keeping that that face clean, and my baby looks looking good for you. You've heard me talk about the amazing shave I get from my Dollar Shave Club razor, which is true, especially when I use it with the Dr. Carver Shave Butter. Love that butter. 
Well, I'm here to tell you I've never given up on my membership. In fact, I'm adding even more Dollar Shave Club products to my daily routine. Check out that shave butter right there. You squirt it on. You shave it off. It's the time of your life. What else do you need? I'll tell you, nothing. You need nothing, sir or madam. Dollar Shave Club makes products for your hair, face, skin, shower, everything you need. They have me looking and feeling amazing. I use Dollar Shave Club for just about everything. They've got me covered head to toe. And you know, it's all their own original stuff. They only use the finest premium ingredients and deliver it right to you. That means no more annoying trips to the store, cruising up and down aisles, looking up for a shelf upon shelf of what the hell is this and what do I do with it? Now's a great time to give Dollar Shave Club a try. You can get your first month of their best razor, along with travel size versions of shave butter, body cleanser, and yes, even butt wipes for just $5. After that, replacement cartridges ship for just a few bucks a month. Sometimes you travel, you need to take it on the go. You don't want to be getting there, and then you're like, oh, I can't bring any of this stuff with me on the plane because you can't have more than four fluid ounces. You know this, or you don't know this, okay? And then you know what happens? You look like an animal. You can't shave, you ain't got nothing with you. They hook you up with the travel version and you're fine. You just bring it with you. It's the DSC starter kit. Get yours for just five bucks exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic. Dollar Shave Club, shave your face, ugly. It's another one. You can have that if you want. I'm just, I'm giving out gold here. All right, back to the show. God, I don't know. Alabama, dude. I was, I was new. That was Louisiana. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, worse. Very it different. is worse. So to take the away a little of bit America. of the, the shittiness that we've just been wallowing in, um, your kids aren't necessarily shitty, but they've been sassy since you've been gone, right? No, they've been good this time. Oh, they're good this time. Okay. Yeah, last last trip when I was here, apparently they became giant assholes the entire time. Like I was the gone. second you left, they sensed weakness and turned on Laurie. <laughs> uh, sensed weakness. I remember being in Australia with Ryan. He's like, motherfuckers. <laughs> Now, what they say, exactly. I don't even remember at this point. It was like, if I remember correctly, it was like Lori was giving Liam uh, some dinner or something. Liam? What? Liam. That's the actual Oh, I apologize. What? What's his name? Sorry. Boy, that's Ryan. Which that's one? Yeah, what is his Older, what is older his son. Name? Son. Eli. Eli, Eli I'm close. sorry. It's Liam's like, it's another Liam. Baby and that's Liam I backwards. Well, Liam is the actor that plays his child. <laughs> what a you. fucking yes, friend you. you are. Yeah. I know, I'm the worst. <laughs> You're so my daughter's, my my daughter's name that's, is Iris. Liam. That's that's Kevin from Kind of Funny all over again or whatever. Max. I apologize. No, Kevin is that kind of funny. That's a real person. Yeah, Liam's another toddler I know. Sorry. No, yeah, go on. That is actually true. So isn't it, uh, she was giving him dinner and he was being sassy and he literally said to her, your services are no longer needed. You can leave. <laughs> it's like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he that sounds like you. That sounds like Ryan. Yeah. Uh, no, no, like no, he's been super son good. Son of the Mad King, right there. The, uh, I just realized if I do prince. have if I do have kids, my house is gonna be the one that gets fucking egged all the time. Dude, your house it. is gonna get a knife. I'm gonna come home, my fucking, By Jeff. fucking lock's not working. Yeah. yeah, Jack, if you have a kid, we're gonna fuck your house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna go, Jeremy. At least we know him. Right. <laughs> Forty year old Jeremy and my like it's like. Hey, Jeremy, let's get Jack's house. <laughs> let's make an omelet out of his window. Jack, Jack's like 50. We're <laughs> like 40, 44. Like, let's get this fucker. Jeremy. <laughs> See you speeding you up the cul-de-sac. Like, what the fuck? Oh, fucking kids. You have a sibling, yeah? Yeah, I got a sibling. Sister, yeah? Yep. Did you guys beat the shit out yeah. of each other? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ooh. we did. Yeah. Okay. It well, I mean, to an friends. extent. I mean, she's my sister. What, like, you that know, doesn't I'm, fucking matter. I have a sister. We beat the shit out of each other yeah, all the time. Women. You thumb you're, you're each other in the women. back. Like, it doesn't matter. Know, it became a thing of like, really young, it was a thing of like, you fucking protect your sister. Like, that was the whole thing. But she was a bitch for a while. Like, it was like a whole thing of a... Uh, I, I like one time I, I was downstairs. So, like, I, I, I was Bro, like, bitch. I was sitting downstairs one time. We um, been bitch. Probably I was probably like ten or eleven or something, and I was like, my neck was killing me. Like I'd slept on it wrong or something, and I just couldn't really move it. And so I was like, just sitting on the couch, just like, God, my neck is really hurting. And my sister like came up to me, and she was like talking to me for a bit, and um, I didn't care what she was talking about. And like she kept going, and I was like, listen, I'm just sitting here. Can you just go away? And she's like, oh, come on, and went. Boom! And hit me in the side of the head while my neck was killing me. And I was like, if I could just shut my brain off and pass out right now, I would love that. And it's like the pain was immense. But I never, I don't think I ever really hit my sister. I, okay. Well. <laughs> Ooh. 
The retraction. No, I never hear it. I, I, there was one time that I pushed her into a wall and like held her there one time. And not, it was so like you a, didn't hit her, but like the a, wall did. You, I was like, don't you tell mom and dad about that like, type of thing. That's the older sibling, I fucked up, but you shut your fucking mouth yes, and don't tell but mom also, and dad about it? My sister right now, if you ever see her, is like the tiniest little thing. She's like five foot flat is how tall she is. And then like just tiny skin. I mean, she's strong as fuck. She does like all like the bar and Zumba and things like that. So her legs are like... And um, but like she's a get that, checked out. Yeah. Is that broken. <laughs> but when we were really little, I was like this skinny twig fuck, right? With you know, like weighed like fifty pounds my whole life. I was nothing, and she <laughs> had a real eating problem. So she was like, "Oh, Jeremy," <laughs> and like, so if she <laughs> wanted to beat the shit out of me, she could. She really could if she wanted to. And all the time I look at, I show pictures of her when she's younger to her friends all the time. It's fun. That's awesome. I'm like, this is what she looked like. She's like, no, oh, don't show that. And I'm like, oh, hey, I'm coming again. Fe- fellow <laughs> fat kids unite. I love that shit. My, my brother just beat the shit out of me on a daily basis. Like, sure. hey, hey, you have friends over? I'm going to put them in a headlock and throw them in the pool. Tell no one. Yeah, no, he didn't give a fuck if we told anybody. <laughs> Tell him, please, actually. Tell him, I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll kick your ass Spread later. This is, this is where step siblings are different because I didn't have siblings until I was like, in my, like maybe 10, I think. Yeah. Uh, and within the first, I think, year or two of having them as step siblings, we all went to the Grand Canyon. Somebody uh, pushed you in. And they, no. <laughs> Ryan killed someone. Along the way, we stopped at some kind we of... We had another sibling. Well, we buried a couple of bodies. No, um, along the way, we stopped at uh, kind of like a the old Pueblo sort of thing or like a... No, no one died. That's good. Oh, That's fine. Eye. Don't anyway, encourage him. So they were like, oh, you know, come on, Ryan. Let's go off and we'll <laughs> leave the parents behind and go explore. And we did for about 20 minutes. And then they left me. That's You just described the plot of Joe Dirt. <laughs> they yeah. left him at the Grand Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> they, they just from abandoned Georgia me, too. which I was actually totally fine with. because You could get a new family. We're st- we were still learning to get along. I didn't really care for them that much at that point either. But uh, it worked out just fine. I, I mean, were they it. like, did they come back? Like, oh my no, God. no, they did, not, they did not come back for me. How did you leave? They left. I mean, my, the rest of my parents were there as well. The rest oh. of your parents? Well, the rest the of rest I was going to say parents? family, and right. then I realized it was like, oh, no, no. I'm actually a polygamist. Oh, oh, yeah. oh nice. Oh, congratulations. That's not, that's not true. So is Michael Gavin and I I can't know. keep track of one wife. I think two would kill me. Jeff's got something on his mind. His eyes are floating over Michael. Well, running, I, was, I, just, I thought of some stuff I did, but I don't want to talk about it. It was too much. Yeah. That's fine. I, you, that, it's too much, Jeff. Let's not we'll do it when you get back the and cake then we can made. decide if we edit it or not. You know? I had yeah. some like physicality with my sister. We'd beat the crap out of each other, but the best was this one story where it was like, it was pure psychological torture for her. Um, so she inherited my Barbie dolls, and I was not okay with that. So one day, uh, as she was sleeping, I went ahead and hung them from her ceiling fan by shoelaces. Good, good, good. Like nooses. Yeah. And then when she woke up, I was standing next to the light switch, and I went, Hey, Leslie, time to die. And I threw on the fan, and then all her Barbies just yeah. started spinning around the room like crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Holy I, gotta, shit. I, gotta I mean, honest. those are going to be worth something someday. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, yeah I'd be a little angry, but the, I don't the, know about the that. The past hours made me really uncomfortable to be on stage with most of, most of you here. Yeah, uh, it happens. Jeff is holding back the floodgates. Look, so Jeff is looking at him. I can Some see he's bursting look, at the seams. He's losing, losing it right yeah. now. Two years ago, it was all about how many animals he murdered. That's true. Yeah, I, was, I was trying to fit. Off topic there. number 13. I remember yeah. it. Jeff kills everything. <laughs> I work yeah. with a bunch of fucking psychos. You yeah. guys are all fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Did, did you not right. know that? All right. All right. Jesus so, Christ. I'm kind of with you at this point. I mean, I, 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 but I, I can't like keep up sh- with any I wasn't a shithead to other people. I was a shithead to my friends. I mean, you Okay, you're a shithead. I mean, I was just a shithead. <laughs> you know my friends, though. They were shitheads back. That's fine. You can get in fights and throw that, shit To be fair, friend. what you're saying is there was no Jack in your group. There was just all Jeremy's. A bunch of assholes. We were just all assholes to each other. But we never, like... It was never a thing of like we're gonna go do this to these random innocents. Oh, that was me, baby. Yeah, yeah, that was exactly. Michael. Yeah, that was that's all me. Not for me. Fucking we were, see, over here. We were assholes together. We combined and we're like, listen, we could turn this hate inward, or we could combine and throw rocks at the train. Yeah, you know, it's like, I I like the, you're like the Just Voltron of douchebag. I full on threw rocks at a train that passed by. It was tons of fun. Then how, we moved on. How to was eggs. the rest of your Christmas? Then we <laughs> didn't do it on Christmas. Then we egged houses by the train. But then one time we egged houses by the train, and then the guy who lived in the house got in his car and he drove over and chased the kids away. And then he grabbed one kid, and they had to go to court, and it was a whole fucking thing. But I wasn't there, so I got out of it. 
What yeah. you're seeing right times. here, by the way, yeah. I can almost yeah. guarantee you, what you're seeing right here it's a small release. is Jeff couldn't hold it in any longer. No, he can't. Jeff's going to blow Whatever it was, he had to let it out. <laughs> the second it's we get back to the he's going to tell He was that close okay, to Jeff wins. into a mic. Jeff wins biggest piece of shit at this table. Oh, shit. <laughs> we knew God that. God damn, you cannot tell that story. Well, I just got a I just got that text from Jack's wife? From Jack's wife, Katie. Jack, what did you do to your sister? Oh, my God. What did you do? Where is she? Oh, yeah. Okay, I did tie her up one time. That and left time. her in a oh, closet. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I tied <laughs> her up one time, left her in a closet. We let her out. Thank though. you, wow. Katie. She's Thank okay. you, Katie. Katie, Katie God saving damn it. the day. Bless. Jack, Save saving the day. Bless. You asked. I love you, Katie. I did tie I'm, her I up. I love that she texted what? you about it. Closet. <laughs> I'm correct in that I can't tell that story, right? Oh, you absolutely cannot okay, tell that story. Sure. But you know what you can talk about, Jeff? We're running kind of close to Jeff, we've got about. When are we going until? We got about five minutes left. Oh, damn. I mean, if you. Is that it? Yeah, it's Jeff. Okay. All right. So we so the goal of Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth in general is to innovate and increase production value and to do to stretch our to stretch our uh, our, our creative abilities and to become better and more interesting entertainers and to create new and varied entertainment, right? So right. And, we, and we said and we can't start do that. Fucking so la- people's houses. Yeah. So last year and the year before, we did stuff like theater mode and Heroes and Half Wits. Uh, let's play live. Let's play live. A tour. We've done a lot of crazy stuff like nationwide tours. All kinds of wacky so shit. Well, yeah. Coastwide. So, uh, one of the big uh, initiatives for me was that in 2018, is they've asked me to come up with high production value, first only shows this that are like, stupid. like fucking cool. So, awesome. so I've come up with four shows that we're gonna make in 2018. Yeah. One of which is Say we're gonna film it. in like two weeks. Say the name of it. Yeah. We, I don't know the name yet. It's not 100%. Oh, if you say, say, say the one that we want. Say the one we all Say the one. Right now. This is the show again. that they've told me. They were like, you can talk about it. And they said, no, you can't talk about it. Don't talk about it. We're Just, not ready yet. All right. Let's wait, film what's the, pilot the working first. title? Give us the working title. Come on. The working title is Achievement Haunter. Okay. <laughs> what, what we're going to do in, like, hopefully two weeks. <laughs> have you guys ever seen Ghost Hunters? <laughs> We're gonna tra- Achieve Hunter's gonna travel around the country hunting ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is true. This is yeah. this is a awesome. real thing. Not a like, joke. Go exactly. spend the night in a haunted house in Rhode Island and night try to vision. find and catch ghosts. And other like nefarious serious. creatures. Yeah, we're going to catch them in the traps. We're filming, a, yeah, we're filming a pilot in like two or three weeks where we're going to go. Uh, we're still figuring out the location. And and like, we're still figuring sure, out like, the positions of people. Like a hundred cameras and a crew and just like like ghost adventurers, like the whole thing. We're going to go and we're going to fucking catch ghosts. Can we, can we say who people are yet? Catch like the roles in the show? Oh, I hope yeah. so. Yeah, those are still, they're kind okay. of fluctuating Who's going to be Zach Bagan to no, get possessed no. every day? Right, I'll, I'll, I'll just give it a quick. Uh, okay. All right, uh. Michael is the instigator. Oh, right. Zach, so he way. calls That's out me. the ghosts. I'll be Zach. Yeah. Jeremy is, he's going to fight the ghosts. I'm going to fight them. <laughs> he's the muscle. I'm the muscle, so I'm I'm fight the ghosts. I'm the fearless leader. I'm bravery. Right. <laughs> yeah. sure, no. You braveheart. Jeff can't play a fucking video game. He's going to hunt ghosts. <laughs> Jack, you're research. I'm research. Research, yep. yeah. Lindsay, you're the brains. Uh, thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> Ryan, you're re- you're tech. You're tech guy. Yeah. What were you about to say? And and, <laughs> I don't know, and Gavin, man. he's the bait. <laughs> <laughs> so achievement haunter coming sometime in 2018. Yeah. We're it'll be the get, biggest thing we've ever done. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna find these. We're gonna prove that ghosts are real or not. And the the key to this show is the I've I've been doing some some research. Yeah. The, the reason that's people Jack's don't find job. ghosts Jack's on TV... Yeah, that's my job. Well, not ghost research. The, show okay, research. Sorry, okay. See, the reason I'm people ghost don't find research. ghosts on TV is because they don't get scared enough in the location. Ghosts respond to fear. Right. So we're going to get scared by reenacting the thing that happened. Right. Like if somebody commits suicide... We're, we're going to reenact it. Yeah. Not by actually killing ourselves. Maybe. Well, we don't know yet. Right. It could this show be, us it could come be out. We could be a ghost in the show after we're dead. Right. And I'll fight him. <laughs> yeah, you'll fight my ghost. <laughs> Jeremy, go easy on me. <laughs> Bring it on, little girl. <laughs> we've, been, we've been going for like the last three months, we've been going through trying to name this show yep. and fighting it internally in the company over what to call it. We've had some amazing names. This has been some really good ones. Are there yeah. some that definitely aren't going to happen that we can say? 
Well, we're not going to call it the Boo Boys. Boo Boys is awesome. Boys. I like. Yeah. We wanted to. You presented Boo Boys, and I was like, can I be the Boo Bitch? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> boo Boys. Well, it was Boo Boys with a Z, which is all inclusive. Yeah. Uh, Gender neutral. Trevor wanted to call it On Your Market Set Ghost. That was good. Yeah. Like that one. The uh, the, what, are those, oh, wait. Uh, what our Jeff, yours was good. Yeah, yeah. I like Jeff's. Well, mine was Achievement Haunter. No, no, no. no, 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 no the other one. Jeff's it's, was, uh, are you there, ghost? It's me, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. that one. I mean, my personal favorite that I heard was Polter Guys. Yeah, the Polter, Polter Guys. Polter <laughs> the Polter <laughs> Guys. Was well, one called Ghosts and Shit. Ghosts, ghosts and Shit. shit. Yeah. I like Terrorists. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. That's easy really to pick up. We're the terrorists. <laughs> <It's>, uh, not <laughs> a charged political exactly. atmosphere or anything. We're so good. Yeah, look for at least one episode of us trying to catch ghosts. Yeah. All right, there Some it point. is. There you have it. There it is. Probably in March or April. Thank you for coming out. Thanks, Whatever everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sydney. We love you. Topic. Thank you, RTX Sydney. Have a good year. Love you. Hey, well, thanks for watching this. Very special. That went high. Did you see that? That went out and it came back down. This very special episode of Off Topic, uh, live from RTX Sydney. If you liked it and you also, you want to see our uh, Off Topic, that's the name of this show. You want to see Off Topic live, boy, we got a treat for you because February 22nd, that's a Thursday, 2018, we're doing Off Topic live from Austin. But wait, Michael, you always do live from Austin. That's true. But now we're doing it live downtown where you can buy tickets to come see the show. Watch us get drunk on stage and fall asleep and, and get into fights and yell and talk over each other. And you'll be in the audience going, wow, I can't believe this is happening. So if you want to come to the show, get your tickets now. And then also live uh, near Austin or travel because you will have to physically come here in order to see the show. It is not a digital ticket. You cannot redeem this online. There's no stream. We will not beam this directly into your brains. But if you are a person that likes to leave their house and go do things, maybe at 2 p.m. on a Thursday, who needs a job? Doesn't matter. I got a job and I'll still be drinking. Well, come on down and visit the show. Get your tickets. Check out the link in the description and click on it and buy them. What's that? You're too lazy to do that? You fool, I'll tell you. Go to universe.com slash RTX Live from Austin where you can get your tickets to come see Off Topic. Again, that's Thursday, February 22nd at 2 p.m. After that day, this whole outro will be meaningless. It's worthless. It'll never be useful again. You idiot. It's February 23rd, you're saying. I I'm sorry. I can't go back in time and remove this from the video. It's already burned in, and it's still going. In an off-topic fashion, I want to extend the whole podcast by another 15 minutes, and I'm going to do it right here in this unscripted ad read. It's not even really an ad read. Please, for the love of God, come see the show. That's not an ad. I needs to eat and drink, uh, so check it out and come visit.